Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 67 for learning management system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to perform the change password functionality in the user dashboard. Okay, so it will be similar for the teacher dashboard. Okay, if you go in the teacher dashboard and here you can see that change password, right? So we will do that uh, same thing for the user dashboard or you can say student dashboard, right? So uh, let's uh, do this. So I'll open the <coughs> front end and I'll take reference from the teacher dashboard, right? So component and teacher and let's say teacher change password we have uh, where it is user list and dashboard teacher change password here we are right and uh, yes this is opening in the vs code okay now open the uh, student password right so lms source component user and uh, login favorite my dashboard register change password dot js okay so i'll copy all the things okay and paste it here right and change the name of the component hmm. this is change password this is change password okay no problem then if the component name is all right okay now teacher change password we will say student change password okay and this will be student data right so student data this is student data hmm and copy the copy this and paste it here right and then copy this paste it here paste it here and change password we will pass the student id right so student id here sorry and here you will the student id and this is a uh, student form data we have only one field so student form data right student form data we will pass passing here and then uh, user logout right and then uh, set student data right and uh, let's say student change password right student change password and this will be student login status student login status okay so paste here paste here so i think everything we need we have changed right <coughs> student change password okay now we need to change in the api huh so we need to uh, create this kind this url student change password so let's go to the api we have api main and uh, we have urls.py file uh, teacher change password i'll copy this right and uh, i'll copy after the dashboard hmm? and then i'll say student change password right and then here we are going to create a view views dot this teacher id this will student id right so we'll say student id i will copy this and open the views dot py file and check teacher change password right so i'll copy and paste after this right a uh, student change password hmm? student change password and everything is okay except we need to change model name and it will also change here this is student data not teacher data student data student data student data and this is student id not teacher id right so student id student id student id okay so first of all we filter the, the data according to the student then we are updating the password right so let's uh, see and uh, okay so let's see here in the browser okay it's uh, showing some kind of error let's see uh, console and what it is showing we will check here right so what it is showing okay teacher sidebar hmm? change password we will say sidebar only because we are using the sidebar we are not using this link we are not using uh, uh, the sweet alert okay uh, sidebar so here it will the sidebar right we are not using the params hmm? 
right we are using the axios and other things right now let's check this so student change password and let's change the password right change password update let's check that what's the error is if i click here it's saying student change password not found okay let me see response page not found okay so page not found student oh this is this will be here right so here we need to change this let's check this one two three four five six and then update okay so now it's updating the password now let's log in with the old old one right so let's check with the old one okay invalid now let's check with the new one login yeah it's working oh after the login we need to redirect on the uh, user dashboard not the student dashboard is saying user dashboard it's the same hmm? so it's a user dashboard right so after login hmm? so let's say we have logged out user and now we are going to change this right login now we are okay okay so every link is working now when we click on this and uh, it's a user logout not not a uh, it's uh, redirecting on the you know the link but we need to redirect on the user logout right so what we have yes user logout so click here so now it's long okay so we have completed our uh, user dashboard except the we will add two more things in this one is a notification when teacher assign the assignment to the student then uh, we will show the notification to the user okay and the second thing we will add a quiz system and the third thing we need to may we need to add here the popular courses it will be according to the rating and the popular teachers right so it will be according to we are not added the rating for the teacher but what we will do we will uh, find the popular teacher according to the course numbers and how many courses teacher has been uploaded according to that we will show the popular teachers right and uh, student testimonial uh, student can add the testimonial okay uh, from uh, from their uh, you know review it's kind of a review so we will fetch here the review so we will uh, do these things in upcoming video okay so thank you so much for watching the video and uh, please subscribe this channel like this video and uh, join this channel when you will join the channel then uh, i'll give you the access of any repository you want and you can also follow me on github instagram paypal or sorry paypal facebook and you can support me via Razor, Pair, Paypal, Patreon, whatever you want. I'm, I have given every information in the about section. You can check this. Okay. So thank you so much watching the video. Thank you.